On April 20, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon Offshore Drilling Unit exploded off the coast of Louisiana, tragically killing 11 workers and triggering the largest oil spill in U.S. history. Following the initial effort to contain and clean up an oil spill, a natural resource damage assessment begins. This legal process determines how the oil spill has impacted our natural resources and the public's use of them. It then calls for the restoration of resources lost or injured. Under the Oil Pollution Act of 1990, crafted in the wake of the Exxon Valdez disaster, the President, state governors, and tribal leaders designate representatives to lead the damage assessment. The representatives for the Deepwater BP oil spill currently include the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Department of the Interior, the Department of Defense, and representatives from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. According to the federal regulations that govern the assessment process, agency representatives must invite BP and other responsible parties to participate in portions of the natural resource damage assessment, but the representatives control the process together. Important and vulnerable habitat covers nearly every part of the Gulf of Mexico. Oil in and on water can impact plants and animals, from small creatures on the surface of the water to rare habitat on the bottom of the ocean. On or near shorelines, sensitive resources like oyster beds and salt marshes might be at risk, affecting our seafood. Human use of these resources, such as recreational fishing, boating, hunting, and beach use, might also be lost due to the presence of oil. Within days of the BP oil spill, agency partners mounted an aggressive information collection effort far exceeding the scope of any other spill to accurately measure injuries associated with the spill. We tested waters and beaches for the presence of oil and tracked the movement of oil from the source using aerial, ground, and underwater surveys. To date, we have surveyed 1,800 miles of shoreline, collected more than 19,000 environmental samples, deployed more than 60 research vessels, and studied marine mammals, turtles, fish, and birds to understand the fate and impact of the oil. After this initial evaluation, the agencies will publish a report that summarizes preliminary findings for the public to review, and then will proceed with the injury assessment and restoration planning. We will investigate the extent of natural resource injuries and the time and methods it will take for them to recover. Using this information, agency partners will develop a restoration plan to offset spill impacts that will be made available for public review and comment. Although there is potential for some early restoration efforts, most restoration will follow the assessment and planning phase, and the Natural Resource Damage Assessment ensures that BP and other responsible parties pay for that restoration. Driven by our dedication and long-term collaboration on broader Gulf recovery efforts, the agency partners are committed to complete restoration of resource injuries so that the Gulf region regains its vitality and the public can, once again, enjoy its many natural benefits.